we have the Manco Big Cat mini bike and it's experiencing the problem with worn bushings in the neck, in the steering neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the bushings. We'll start by removing the two or loosening the two set screws on the handlebar mounts. Those are six millimeter and there's also one that goes down through the center of the stem we'll have to loosen. That's a different size, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to loosen all this. And we're going to pop the handlebars off and we're going to drop the stem down through the tube and put new bushings and bearings in it. Once we removed the center nut out of the stem, we took the pry bar and we pried the joint there apart just a little bit, squirted some penetrating oil on it, and we used a rubber or plastic mallet or a low-weight dead blow hammer, and we tap up gently on the bottom until the handlebars pop off. Then the stem instantly drops down and out of the way. Let's we'll pull off the thrust washer on top and the bearing. And look, the bearings are actually falling apart in my hand here. The bearings are coming apart. You can see the little balls coming loose. And everything in here is real dry and kind of yucky. So we're going to lift it up. And we're going to drop the whole center stem out. And we're going to install the new parts next. Lifted the bike up and we pulled the center stem out from the tube. And on the bottom, the first thing that we came across was this spacer. And you can see the tapered side faces up. So we're going to have to remember that. And then in the bottom cup here, we have all the little bearings that have come out and fallen off. We're going to clean up the bottom of the stem. We're going to get all those bearings out of there and replace it with the new ones. And I think we'll leave these cups on here that are already here because even though we could change them, we don't really have to. Now we didn't use all the parts because we reused the press-in spacer and bushing on top and bottom. What we did is we just replaced the flat bearing on the bottom along with the disc and then top we cleaned it all out. We put the flat bearing in first and then this wedge type spacer packs down around that like a bearing race, like in a race for the bearing. And now we're going to reinstall the handle. Well there we go. Everything's back together. Go ahead and wiggle the steering thing for me. Back and forward. See, look at that. Nice and tight. Doesn't wiggle or wobble. And we didn't use the uh, replacement spacer cups like this or the other cups that came with it. We reused the bottom cup that was already on the forks and the shaft inserts that go into the neck. We just reused those. And we reused the same neck mount screw on the top. The only actual parts we used were the flat thrust bearings on the top and bottom and the plastic bushing that goes in the top to hold the bearing in the perfect spot and have the shaft balance straight. So we really only used three of the parts in the kit to make this work. And we got the kit on Amazon. I'll put a link in the comments below to the kit. It was $9.98 or if you want to hunt for the part yourself, you need uh, 34 millimeter thrust bearings with one plastic spacer insert. So possibly you could find that kit even cheaper. I heard you can also go to your local bicycle store and get these flat bushings there for a very cheap price as well. And we still got to see what we want to do about the brakes on it because these things are notorious for having bad braking. You just can't stop real fast on one of these. It's got a disc brake set up on the back, and it's really not adequate for the weight and size of this particular bike. But it is a fun bike to drive. And I think Doug put a couple miles on it today going around the neighborhood. And it sure seems like, yeah, it has a, it's a good time for not much money. We got the frame for free. We put a new motor on it, did a little work, and now it's running great. So thanks for watching. If you need the parts, click on the link below. If not, check out your local bicycle shop or Amazon to find what you need. And have a great day.